if I had played the safe game, I wouldn't be who I am right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Holidays Vlogmas. It is Sunday evening when I'm filming this. It's currently 8.30. I, yes, have literally just had a shower and we're gonna have to deal with wet hair for the whole of this video pretty much. But um, yeah, I wanted to chat with you guys now it's gonna be a deep chat for my sunday evening but it's been something that's been on my mind for like quite a while and in theme with like the holidays vlogmas this year i think it's a really important reminder i wanted to basically talk about taking risks now i should really preface this and say that obviously a risk looks different to everyone and you know some of the risks you know like the risks i have been able to take um, are because I am in a privileged situation so I just want to say that and acknowledge that but yeah I would definitely say that like in the past growing up I've always been one to play the safe game I've never really taken risks it's only been over the last like four five years but I've actually started to take more risks and I really feel like these have shaped me into who i am without me even really realizing and i would say that i've taken more risks over the past like four years than i have done in my whole entire life i stayed inside my comfort zone i stayed in this holy bubble when i was growing up and i did not dare to take any risks at all like for example i grew up dancing as you guys know i'd be like yeah i could maybe pirouette off balance um i don't want to fall over so i'm just gonna you know make it look nice and pretty and play the safe game as i said and at school another example you know like i chose to only do three a levels instead of four which looking back was the right decision for my mental health at that time but i could have taken a risk and taken my fourth subject which was geography and just not revised for that subject and like winged the exam um, but I would have taken a huge risk, obviously, and I would have risked maybe, you know, not getting the A star that I wanted. But again, I played the safe game. I dropped the subject and was like, I'm just going to focus on three and not take that risk. But yeah, there are so many examples. Like, I've always just been a very safety net person in my little comfort zone. But I basically just want you to take away from this video the fact that you shouldn't be afraid to take risks. Because I just feel like they have taught me so, so much. It's really guided my path in life which sounds really deep but basically i have put together 10 things that i have learned from taking risks and i feel like if i had played the safe game i wouldn't be who i am right now i wouldn't be in this position and that's why i'm just happy that i did do this and step outside my comfort zone and that's the first thing i want to say now i do say this a lot but like by taking risks and stepping outside my comfort zone i have grown so so much and i would say the first big risk i took was choosing to go solo traveling around australia for three months instead of going into a full-time job because i did if you guys followed me back then i applied for like teaching jobs um teaching biology in private schools basically in the uk and i was offered this position to be a biology teacher but i was like you know what i am gonna turn that down i decided to tutor instead and I went traveling and yes that was a risk I didn't know how the tutoring was gonna go I didn't know if I'd enjoy it I was so scared of going traveling on my own to like pretty much the furthest destination I could get away from home but I think it's very very apparent that I just wouldn't be here right now had I not done that like I would not still be traveling and loving it it definitely gave me a lifelong chronic illness of the travel bug and traveling has taught me so much more than i ever thought i could learn about myself about the world and the people around me and i don't think i could have learned these lessons through doing anything else so the first thing i would say is you know like taking a risk is stepping outside your comfort zone but it means you can truly get to know who you are as i say with travel like you do find yourself especially with solo travel and i still don't really know how that comes to be but i can 100 percent hands down say that i like found myself through traveling the second thing i would say with taking risks is that you open so many new doors leading to new paths and opportunities without starting tutoring i wouldn't have started holy Gemia. and without traveling i wouldn't have visited all these countries and you know met so many incredible people and if i hadn't have say like given youtube and social media 
ago just to see how I find it, which is basically what I do now, like a big part of what I do. I wouldn't be here and it's given me this lifestyle that I've always wanted to be able to like work for myself and travel and I created this like as I said I am really proud of that but I did have to take a bit of a risk I had to be like you know I'm gonna go down the route that's a bit more unknown and unsure but in doing so as I said like I've opened new doors to so many new opportunities when I was in Australia for example I did consider you know going into marine biology even though i didn't do that it was just opening a new door and that was because i was scuba diving and i fell in love with that now the third thing i would say is kind of like a dilemma and i don't want this to come across in the wrong way at all but i have essentially always been someone who's had so many different interests and i've never known which to pursue i swear i wake up with new ideas every day or i have new ideas in the shower like showers are great for new ideas but like i just get new ideas all the time and i don't physically have the ability to do all of them which is frustrating as i said that's why it's kind of like a dilemma but like i realized that part of taking risks is like experimenting and not trying to do everything at once you have to experiment you have to you know give things time and sometimes save things put them on pause and pick them up later and that's definitely a big part of your 20s like you can experiment with new jobs you know you don't have to stick in one job if you don't enjoy it you can try different things pick up a side hustle try working for yourself your 20s is the perfect time to take risks and yes that is because you know you've finished school and university and you generally have the fewest responsibilities the fourth reason that i did mention like why you should take risks especially when you're young and you don't have these responsibilities is because you don't have these responsibilities you know you have to try things when you can like if you've got a family and you've got a house and a mortgage yes it is more difficult to change jobs for example or like go traveling um and sell everything and become a minimalist and live a van life you know that is a lot harder it's definitely doable but like it's gonna be a lot harder and so you may as well take risks when you can i think we're on number five i've kind of lost count here but the fifth thing related to that is to do with money. Now, I have mentioned before that I have always grown up with this fear of spending money. And I would still say I do have a bit of that in me. But I've realized as well now that money will come back to you. Although I do live at home still, I am financially independent. And in the past, I would have just saved, saved and saved. Like, I would have never spent my money. I would have literally lived my life at home like growing up i've definitely been a hermit but i think having become financially independent and found my feet sort of thing and knowing that i can fund what i want to do and pay for my travels and pay for everything that i love doing i can create these incredible memories and have these amazing experiences and i can also make money at the same time whilst doing so and so whilst i would definitely encourage like saving i do still save my money i am still very cautious with my money but you should definitely not be afraid to spend any of your money because then you won't live at all and that's not fun another reason why i think you should consider taking risks or take more risks small risks big risks whatever a risk looks like to you is because i feel like you gain so much confidence and you become more okay with failing i still don't like the idea of failing i still do not like it when i do something wrong or you know i don't do something and it doesn't live up to my expectations but i am definitely a lot more comfortable with failing and i feel like failing is something that we have to experience it you know teaches you so so much it teaches you more than success for sure and i am able to be bold and be like yes let's take this risk because even though i fail i will learn from it and so regardless of the outcome it's going to be a positive no matter what sort of thing i think we have three more so this is number eight but basically i would say that in me taking risks i have definitely not followed the crowd and I found true happiness in myself. Again, like coming out of university, as I said, a lot of my friends, they like went into full-time jobs. And so obviously in my head, I was like, should I do the same? Should I get like a standard nine to five office job? Even though I knew I did not want to do that, but had I not taken a risk and done something completely different, like taken a gap year and then gone traveling and set up tutoring and stuff, like I would definitely not have found this place where I am now, where I am truly happy. 
I love what I'm doing. I have always been one to stand by the idea of doing what you want to do instead of just, you know, doing what everyone else is doing. Because at the end of the day, that is so boring and you won't find your true self. You won't find what you're truly passionate about, what you enjoy doing the most. It is so not worthwhile following the crowd just because it's the safe route. And you know, if the risk doesn't play out the way you expect it and you fail, like that's not at all an issue. You can like backtrack and find something else, but you won't have ever known and you'll never know until you try basically, until you give something and go and like take that risk. The second to last thing to say is that I feel like in me taking risks, I have become more comfortable with change and like fluctuations now a few years ago if you'd have asked me the question like what is one of your biggest fears i would have definitely said change so for example leaving school and going to university and moving out for like university sort of thing leaving home that would have scared me so much but i am just so comfortable now with like fluctuations in life and i can appreciate that life is so dynamic it's never going to be static you know the only thing that is constant in life is change i honestly love that quote i know that every day is going to be different and that is like the beauty in life really you don't want everything to always be the same and if anything i like seek change now i want to keep pushing myself and challenging myself and i want to create new adventures and new memories and just change things up because that to me is so exciting and part of that, yes, involves therefore taking risks. Like, I'm not going to say too much now because I have to bite my tongue and not say too much, as I've said to you guys that I will do. But next year is going to be like a big change for me. And yes, it's going to be a bit of a risk, I guess, but like, I'll never know unless I try. And I know that if I don't try, I will regret it looking back. So again, all of these ideas tie together. But you know, I want to see what doors this opens and what it brings for me, how I grow, how I change. It's such a big learning opportunity for me. I really think I've lost count because I feel like I have two more things to say. So we'll just go with it. But the first of those two last things is basically for me to ask you a question. Like, do you genuinely and truly know yourself? Or do you think you should take more risks and push the boat out a bit because you would be able to find out who you truly are? Like I grew up and I lived a very sheltered, life i knew nothing beyond textbooks and studying in school and university that is literally all i knew and had i gone straight into a job i would have known and learned nothing beyond the four walls of that office space and for some people that might be what you want to look for in life and that's totally fine i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but i kind of knew coming out of university that i had a lot to learn i needed to push myself, to challenge myself because I hadn't done that my whole life. And so I felt like I owed myself something. And I feel like I still do owe myself these opportunities to take risks and to challenge myself and to grow. The thing I definitely wanted to finish on was to say that life is genuinely too short to not give something a go and to not maybe take a bit of a risk. Like it is genuinely YOLO. And this year I have said YOLO in my head so many times and some of them have been more successful we could say than others but like every time I've been open to taking a bit of a risk and I played the risk card because I wanted to and I gained something from it every single time like genuinely I did. I have always as well lived by the kind of mantra we could say of that you know I don't want to look back and think that I could have done something differently or potentially tried something or worked a bit harder or done something that I didn't give a go at the time sort of thing. I never want to have that thought. I never basically want to have regrets. And so that's why I think we should just always remind ourselves of this idea that, you know, we only live once and life is too short to think, what if, you know, what if I'd done this? What if I tried that? What if I'd taken that risk? You know, you never know. And so you just have to try. And I really don't know if any of this has made sense. And it's been quite a deep chat. But it's been something that's been on my mind and if you're thinking about doing something and it's a bit of a risk i hope this video has maybe encouraged you to say yes i'm really sorry you've had to stare at like a wet dog look this whole time um 
with no volume no poof no anything but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it's been somewhat useful or like inspirational i don't really know definitely like it if you have enjoyed it this little reflective chat to finish my sunday and whenever you are watching it i hope you've had a good day a great morning wherever you are in the world and yeah comment down below subscribe if you are new and hit the bell so you know when i upload and yeah i will speak to you guys tomorrow for episode 16 of holy days and as always i'll speak to you very soon in another video bye do we want it back forwards back forwards i don't even know and um the camera's not focusing my hands are so red and sore they actually look so bad why can i never start videos like genuinely i don't know if i should put a vest top on a vest top not a vest top but anyway it's just me in my pajamas so you're gonna have to deal with it i also really don't like having my hair wet it just doesn't look like it's doing anything does that make sense am i making any sense i don't really know burp for the video <laughs>